and good morning. Welcome back to the Vapor Rooms. Today is a chilly Tuesday. It is a chilly Tuesday. It is a bit cold out there. So, where do I start? I start with my usual greeting. That's what I start with. I need caffeine. <laughs> but nonetheless, I have the heater on full blast today because it is particularly cold out there. Not all that sunny either. Mm. Bit of a dreary looking day, but don't let that ever stop you. Doing what you need to do and being who you want to be today. But today, you are graced with my presence. It is a Tuesday, so standard issue really. But today, what have I got to show you? Well, I'm just going to show off just a small snippet of the sub -own tanks that we have in store today. And they vary in... The varying prices, the varying design, brands, so on and so forth. So, we'll start off with a, a sort of well-known tank in this shop. We have the Ajoy Katana. Now, this one is the Resin Yellow. So, very nice looking tank. That's it there. But, very basic in functionality. Pretty much set every, pretty much sub -own tank nowadays anyway. Separates like so, you can screw your coil out, pop another one in, pop that back together. There's not really too much to talk about on the guidance of sub -own tanks. They're all pretty much generically the same. They always have a similar premise. But filling method on this one is at the top. What you do is shove that along and you've got your fill port there. But the Aijo Katana, a brilliant tank for those lovers of mesh coils. Their whole line of coils are pretty much mesh. They do a line that aren't, but to be quite honest nowadays, they're a bit of a rarity to find. But that's the Aijo Katana. We also do have in at the moment the EH Raptor. Well, the EH Pro Raptor. Got me words mixed up there. But yet again, this is the same premise, you unscrew it from the base, you unscrew the coil from said base as well, pop it all together, and different film method on this one. This one, if I can find it, actually it's the same. I'm actually, I'm actually incorrect about that one. But the filling method, it's a bit hard to see, dark on black, but there is a kidney slot there, and that is where you fill up your juice. Now this one does also utilize the mesh coils, but it does have different cotton type and it does use bamboo fibers. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, bamboo fibers, what? I just thought it was cotton, but technically it is still cotton. It's just that it has very microscopic, that's why the microfibers are in that sentence, but it does use very, 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 very small um, fibres of bamboo. And another tank that also does utilise a very similar premise of different materials in the cotton, as well as utilising mesh coils, is the Horizon Tech Falcon tank. Now, same again, this one, every coil change is pretty much the same. There are a rare exception, but I will get into the are one of the rare exceptions after this tank. But coil changes are generically the same. Unscrew the base plate from the top part, pop that to one side, unscrew the coil from the base plate, pop a new one in, screw it all back together. Dead easy. And for the film on this one, instead of having to shove a thing, your top piece along, your filling port, you have a button here. You can just about see where my thumb's pressing. If you press that, Boom. And you fill it down that kidney slot there. Once it's filled, pull it back, you hear that click, and you're good to go. But that is the Horizon Tech Falcon King. And then, as I said before, the rare exception, where they do have a different filling method, comes in the form of press fit coils. And the Geek Vape Seuss sub -ohm tank is a perfect example of this. So... If you've used the rebuildables or ever seen them before, very similar in filling method. It has a very similar type of design as well. So that's your fill ports on the sides there. 
pop that back on and twist it back. Top fill, top fill? No, it is top fill, I'm not wrong. But top airflow, that's the word I'm looking for. Top airflow is adjustable and does have hard stops. And on every one of these tanks, we do have airflow that does have hard stops, so it doesn't rotate in a 360. As for the coil change on this one, because obviously I did, you did hear me say before, there is a rare exception where they use press fit coils. You probably think to yourself, press fit coils? Yes, there are no threads to your coils. So, base plate, top piece, all you do is screw that off. And notice there's no coil on the inside of this because your coils press fit on the inside of here. Like so. No twisting, no unscrewing. Just a simple case of coil, hole four coiled, pop in, push it down, and jobs are done. And screw your base plate back on, like so, and that's it. But all these tanks do utilize mesh coils. Some of them do have different wicking materials in there. So as an example, with the EH Pro Wrap there, you do have the bamboo fibers in there, as well as the Horizon Tech offering a line of coils that use basically wood pulp in their cotton material as well to give it that sort of extra boost in wicking speed. Also does contribute a bit to flavor as well. So that's just a small section of the sub tanks that I've got here with me today. I do have other ones such as as the Watofo Pro, the Aspire Odan, I've got Inican Xena, Aspire K3, Nautilus 2, the list goes on. But hopefully I'll be seeing you today. If not, it's not a problem. Hopefully your day is filled with a lot of positivity, a lot of warmth and a lot of joy today because to be quite honest, it is Baltic out there and we could do with being a little bit warm. Uh, as you can tell, most people don't like the cold, so eh. stay warm, stay warm. And if I am seeing you today, then I will see you soon. Obviously, you all know, as you can plainly tell behind me, with all the juice that I have on my shelf as well, that we are pretty much still fully stocked. We do have a lot of variation, a lot of variances, a lot of, of options. And yeah, that is pretty much it from me today, guys. Hopefully you are enjoying the, your morning, or in this case, the afternoon, because that's probably when the video is going to come out. But hopefully you're enjoying your day anyway, in general. I hope it's a great day for you. And from me, at Garston today, I wish you all the luck, the success, whatever it needed to be for you on this chilly Tuesday. And... We also do have the man of many bow ties in our West Derby store today. So not only have you got me covering you on the southern side of the Merseyside today, you do have Liam, the man of many bow ties, on the northern side of Merseyside to help you with any of your vaping needs as well. But from me at Garston and Liam at West Derby, all of us, in customers, staff, friendly faces on the street, we all wish that you have a wonderful day today. And join me in me the usual quote. If I'm seeing you later today, until then, I will see you soon.